Hello friends. You are watching IT Gyan Zero, and today our video topic is how to connect Oracle Database through SQL Developer Tool. First, I will guide you step by step. The first step is to download the Developer Tool. Second, our step will be how to run the SQL Developer Tool. Our third step will be how to access the Oracle Database say, through the SQL Developer Tool and how to configure it. First, I will download SQL Developer Tool. First, you need to open your browser. Whichever browser you use, open it. Here, you need to type SQL Developer Tool Download. Press Enter. You will see it here. Click on the official Oracle site and scroll down according to your operating system. Select it here. We also have Windows 64-bit, so we will click on Setup to download, accept, and click on Download. This will redirect us. You need to have an Oracle ID here. You can create it from here. Click on Create Account. Since I have already created mine, I will keep my ID hidden here. Because of privacy reasons, I will log in here. As soon as I log in with my ID, the download will start here. Okay, the download is already done, so I will skip this now and move to our next step. Close the browser, I will go to the download folder. I have come to the download folder and here I will scroll. Here you will see our developer tool that we downloaded yesterday. It's already downloaded and unzip it here, okay. So here we will create a shortcut. I will make a shortcut on the desktop and bring it to the screen, close it, and I will do it. Let's wait for it to run. So, our second step is complete. Our SQL developer tool has run. Okay, our third step is how to configure and access the database. So, I will come here. You see the plus icon here? Clicking on it will open the screen for you. Like this. You can enter anything here. Here, I will put in some demo data. Here, you will have a user. So my user here is the system user. I will access it. And whatever password you have for the database, you will enter it here. Here I will put in the password. If you want to save it so that it doesn't ask for the password next time, you will click on Save here. You will have an IP here, which is your database servers. My database server's IP is this. Next, you need to click on Service Name here. You need to enter the database's service name here. So. My database's service name is ORCL. Whatever service your database has, you will get it in the TNS file. You will get the TNS on the database server. Inside that, you will also get the service name. You will also get the IP and port from there. So you will do these things here. If you test the connection here, you see it's showing successful. If you connect, your database will be accessed here if you expand it, you will see here. Whatever tables and so on will be shown here. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching the video.